first task of the Atlantic community was to assure its common defense. That defense was and still is indivisible. The United States will risk its cities to defend yours because we need your freedom to protect ours. Hundreds of thousands of our soldiers serve with yours on this continent as tangible evidence of this pledge. Those who would doubt our pledge or deny this indivisibility, those who would separate Europe from America or split one ally from another, would only give aid and comfort to the men who make themselves our adversary and welcome any Western disarray. The proposal before us now is for a new Atlantic force. Such a force would bring strength instead of weakness, cohesion instead of division. It would belong to all members, not one, with all participating on a basis of full equality. And as Europe moves towards unity, its role and responsibility, here as elsewhere, would and must increase accordingly. Let it not be said of this Atlantic generation that we left ideals and visions to the past, nor purpose and determination to our adversaries. We have come too far. We have sacrificed too much to disdain the future now. And we shall ever remember what Goethe told us, that the highest wisdom, the best that mankind ever knew, was the realization <laughs> the highest wisdom and the best that mankind ever knew was the realization that he only earns his freedom and existence who daily conquers them anew. <laughs>